Let's be clear, Notion can save you money and reduce the number of productivity apps that you have. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've done it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel, founder of the Notion Academy. And on this channel, we use Notion and other tools and strategies to gain control of our life and earn back our free time. Well, so I have been using Notion for over a year now, and now checking which app I can replace with Notion has become part of my morning routine. And so far, I have successfully managed to replace all the apps that I was using before. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that, which apps I have replaced with Notion, how I have replaced them, and how much I'm saving every year because of using Notion. So the first app that I have replaced is Todoist. I was using Todoist for as long as I can remember, probably seven or eight years, the same as Evernote. And of course, I was using Todoist for tracking all my to-dos. In Todoist, you were limited to separate everything between projects, tasks, and subtasks. So it was a little bit limited, but it was enough for me. There is also a very good quick add function that works perfectly on my Android and on my Mac. The interface is super clean and they have an inbox page. So these are the features that I really loved. So how I have replaced Todoist with Notion? Let me show you. So for task management, I have created this four tiered system, which consists on pillars, goals, outcomes, and tasks. This, it was not possible to do in Todoist. And this gives me a much better overview of all my life, not just of projects and tasks. So basically, the pillars are the main categories of my life, business admin, personal admin, friends, family, home. Then the goals are the intangibles that I want to achieve in my life, like step up my Twitter game, have a thriving YouTube channel, and so on. Then the outcomes are the measurables that I want to achieve for each of the goals, and then I have the list of all my tasks that they are all related to each of the outcomes. If you're interested in knowing exactly how my system works, I'm gonna leave a video over here where I give a complete walkthrough. So now the quick add feature. This was perfect in Todoist. In Notion is not as good, but I have found a good workaround using the Chrome extension Save to Notion plus Alfred. I also have a video talking about this that you can check over here, but to demonstrate to you, now I just have to hit one shortcut that I have customized, Command Shift G, and I'm gonna go to Chrome and to fill this form. So here I can quickly add any task, the estimated time, the, the dollar per, for, for the task, the status, project, and related outcome, and then save to Notion. So this has replaced that Todoist feature. Then talking about clean interface, Notion has even a better interface because you can customize it however you want. For example, having this dashboard in Todoist will be totally impossible. And then having an inbox feature, I personally didn't use it, but I know that is very helpful for some. So for this, you can simply create an inbox database in which you are going to put everything that you are going to brain dump into Notion. And then you can process it and bring it to any of your other databases using the move function of Notion. So this is also completely possible. So if you find some feature from Todoist that you would like to replicate in Notion that I haven't covered, please tell me in the comments and I will explain you how to do it. Now, the next app that I've been able to replace was Evernote. I was so in love with this app and I think I couldn't live without it before. So I was using this app for a million things, for storing notes from my books or online courses or events, for storing meeting notes, for making plan trips, for storing scanned documents. And for me, the best features that Evernote had was a quick add function, the same as Todoist, the amazing search function that Evernote has to search through all my notes, and the possibility to scan documents and see the documents within the app. So how did I replace it with Notion? So for me, the best way to do this 
is to take note of all the uses that you are giving to Evernote and create one database for each of them. In my case, for my trips, I have this page in which I store all the trips that I have done. This I had the same in Evernote. Let me show you. Here I have the same. I have for Australia, Bali, etc. So this is very easy to replicate in Notion and even a little bit better because here we can embed a new database, we can write whatever we want. I even have a template that I can show you. That is the template that whenever we are able to travel, I'm gonna be using for all my trips. And here it's going to help me with trip planning and everything. So for example, this wouldn't be possible to do within Evernote. The next one will be to track in my meeting notes. And for this, I have created this lightweight CRM that I'm gonna release a, a video about on the next week, in which I store mainly all my meeting notes. Now, for storing all my notes about online courses, events, and so on, I have this knowledge hub with all my online courses, and within each of them, I have created a page. And then within it, I can see all the notes that I have for each of the courses. And finally, the feature that it was most difficult to bring into Notion, which was to scan documents. Notion, in my opinion, is not very good for handling this, but I have created this scan documents page in which I can see all the documents that I have. But how am I capturing them? Well, for this, I'm using a third party app that is called Cam Scanner that allows me to scan documents on my phone. And then after, I'm going to share that document into this database. So first share to Notion and then share to this database. And this is a workaround that I found to have these documents on my Notion. So for example, this document that I have used Cam Scanner for, and I have it here in my Notion. By the way, if you have any problem transitioning from Evernote to Notion, I know it can be a little bit difficult at first, it was for me. I have a full video within my Notion course, the Notion Academy, in which I explain everything that you need to do and all the analogies between both apps so you can completely understand it. I'm going to leave a link to this course in the description of this video. Now, the third app that I've been able to replace was Pocket. Pocket is a read it later app that I had installed in my Chrome browser and that allowed me to save all the articles that I was finding on the internet in this app so I could read them later. Because as you know, I'm not a very big fan of reading the content right away. I prefer to batch consume content. So for me, saving it for later was the perfect approach. So how I have replaced this with Notion? Well, I have in my knowledge hub this database that is called Media Vault, in which I store all the articles that I have to read and that I haven't yet read. By the way, I save them using, again, this Save to Notion Chrome extension that I highly, highly recommend it to you. I'm gonna link also in the video description. And once they are here, I have a different page that I use for knowledge review. And this page is going to be my pocket because here I have all the articles that I have pending. As you can see, this filter is that the status is to read. And by the way, this status I can put automatically from this Save to Notion extension. So this is actually my pocket. Okay, so as you have seen, it's very, very possible to replace all these apps with Notion. But how much am I saving? Because remember, Notion is free for personal use. So right now, the Evernote subscription that I was paying was $8 per month. And then I was also paying the premium subscription for Todoist because if you don't pay for the subscription, you don't have reminders and I need those reminders. So I was paying $3 per month. And then Pocket, I was using the free version because I don't really need all the flair that they have included in the premium. So all this totals to $11 per month and I was using it for eight years. So $11 per month for eight years is around 1,000, $56. I did the calculation before. So this is the money that I will be saving in the next eight years because I'm using Notion. I can even buy a new computer with it. 
So now, if you didn't have a chance before, I'm gonna link here the video in which I walk you through my whole touch management system that has allowed me to replace Evernote fully. So please check it out. So I hope you found this video helpful and maybe you can also start replacing some apps with Notion. And as always, hasta la próxima.